Joseph has McKay, who overshadowed with Zach and Goose coming in. What have you thought of him? Lemon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not overshadowed on this field. He's been awesome. Uh, he, really, he really didn't have spring. I mean, he, he had one and a half practices and got injured and then and then and then wasn't available the rest of the spring. So in a lot of ways we were you know in some ways kinda of felt like he was a you know brand new here for fall camp and he's he's had an awesome camp in the house. He is uh We've been able to move him around position-wise. He's sounded well mentally. He's stayed healthy. Uh, he's a dynamic playmaker. Um, I don't know what's been selling outside. He's not ever overshadowed on this one. Not at all. How was Malcolm Nelson the rest of the spring? Much, much better. Uh, he, he was not uh, super healthy during the spring, and um, so I mean, physically, it's been a it's been a 180, um, and I would say even mentally too. You know, just it was great for him to get the reps in spring. He wasn't. You know, he was probably operating probably below 50% physical, you know, physical capability at that point. But it, it, we're glad that he went through it. He's glad that he went through it. It's, it certainly made him better. Um, you know, the competitions made him better. Having you know three other experienced guys in the room has made him better. Um, and it's a it's a good room. There's a lot of conversations. Guys are competing, but they also help each other and push each other. And uh, so yeah, much improved. You know, I think much more confident. Um, and certainly a high ceiling for them. How have you seen Relique kind of continue handling that transition from running back to receiver? He's done well. We've had a couple of guys banged up, so he's had a chance to, to get a lot of reps. Um, you know, listen, it's it's you know when when you when you make a position change, right? No matter how talented you are, Malik's a, obviously a very talented player. There is a hey Dorian. There's a <laughs> there is there's going to be a transition period, right? Like when you've never done that full time, this is not just go out there and run a route or two, right? And this is not just go out there and learn to block this one thing. Like there's a lot more to it. So uh, he's had some really good patches. He's had some rough patches. Um, but I do feel like for him uh, long term, both both here and in the future, you know, with, with his size and his skill set, that it makes a lot of sense. Who stood out to you in the latest scrimmage that you had? You mentioned Zion Branch to the last one. Was there one guy in particular who stood out? I was trying to think back now. Um, you know, Miller, Miller really scrimmaged well uh, at, the, at the quarterback position. He had a really strong scrimmage. Um, both of the young backs, uh, Quentin and Amarian, um, had, some, had some really nice plays in the scrimmage. Uh, I thought they, they really showed up. Um, uh, you know, defensively, I mean, I mean, you know, Tackett continues to, to show up a lot. Uh, I mean, without a doubt, I thought we had some some really good pressure on the defensive front. Jamil and a few of those guys, you know, doing a really nice job. There was there was a lot. It was a it was a cleaner scrimmage on both sides. There was a lot of good work. Um, it, it looked it looked a lot. Uh, I mean, it just looked a lot cleaner than the first scrimmage, which it should, right? Guys are making progress, and we got a chance to rep a lot of our young guys, and they, they needed that. So, um, yeah, very competitive, very back and forth. Um, kind, of, kind of the opposite of the first scrimmage. Offense started a little faster in this scrimmage, and then the defense closed well, and the, the other scrimmage was kind of the opposite. So, but been pretty typical in our camp. What's the status of Eric Shane and Rachel? Is the state of that position in linebacker? Yeah. Um, you know, all doing well. I mean, that's, uh, you know, they a couple of those guys haven't been full going the whole way. Um, Shane got nicked up a little bit early in camp and has has been limited here in the first part of camp. I mean, I think we all um, certainly expect him back. I expect that he's going to factor in. Uh, hard to imagine that he wouldn't. Um, a, a little bit the same for Eric. Eric's been able to get a lot of good work. Hasn't, hasn't missed quite as much as Shane. But um, obviously with missing spring, you know, we, we got to get him back. Got to get him back full going. He's close. I mean, nobody's got anything in the in the serious nature. It's just a few nagging things that we need to get past. But it's listen. It's been a great thing. It's been great for you know. Been great for Mason and Tackett. It's been great for Rajon. He's back full go now. It's been great for Chris Thompson. It's been great for Garrison Madden. Those guys have gotten a lot of reps. And um, so, but it, it is a deeper room. Uh, had had so it been limited last year, I don't think the answers would have been there strong. So um, I'm sure that's a room that's going to continue to evolve. You guys were pretty high on Anthony Lucas back in the spring as a transfer. What have you seen as far as him, not only kind of physically and some progression so far, but then just also, you know, the suspension last year, just as far as how he fits in with the culture and this kind of He's been a great. He's been a great team member. Uh, he's very involved, uh, very personable. I've uh, gotten to know a lot of our people really well. He's been. He's been one of our best. Uh, he's been one of our best hosts in terms of 
uh, you know, recruiting and just getting involved in a lot of things that many of the guys don't actually have to do. He's been super, super active. Um, yeah, fun kid to be around. Been great for the culture. He's a really talented player, and he's going to have an opportunity to, to have a big role for us. This year. It seems like the reviews from his teammates, especially at attack, is ahead of the curve in terms of being a true freshman. Where do you feel like he, he still needs to really develop? And he maybe shows his youth. Yeah, I, you know, he's... I mean, he, he, he's been available every practice, and he practices really, 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 really hard. Um, and those are, you know, those are his strengths. He, he doesn't hesitate. He goes, and um, he's still, listen, he's, he's still young. He, right, he makes mistakes. Um, there's, there, there are things, though, that you, can, that you can fix, and you see the progress every day because it's important to the kid because he does work hard, and you never, like, you never have to coach that with him. You know, and sometimes other younger guys you're coaching, the mentality along with the scheme, along with the technique, and it's just, it's all this on at once. Like, Tackett's one of those kids, yeah, we're having to coach the scheme, we're having to coach the technique, but like the mentality and effort stuff, we don't have to say nothing to him. I mean, you you don't have to motivate that dude at all. He's gonna walk out here ready to practice every single day. And uh, so when they can take that off your plate, you know, and you can zero in on those other things, you're gonna progress quickly, and he's done that. Some guys, Let's do one more. Some guys what area of the offense would you say you still have the most questions about at this point? Oh no, there's definitely so. Um, no, I mean, all, all of it, right? I mean, it's just, you know, it's all this is not like, well, you return these couple of players, so it should be this, right? Like, this is a whole different mix of players, right? And you, you know, individual guys here and there, that's great, but like, you got to get them to coexist and to work together and act as one. And, and on all three sides of the ball, that's the fight right now. Like, it's. The narrative is all these things return. Everybody thinks you just pick up where you left off, and that's could not be further from the truth. Like it's it's everything's different. We're, we got so many different faces, and so we're. I think just the group coming together and learning to not just be a group of, of some talented guys, but be a group that plays very well together. And we got to close that gap there, and, and really all three sides. Of the